Miami head coach Eric Spolstra spoke out after a video of center Myers Leonard surfaced on social media Tuesday where Leonard can be heard using an anti-Semitic slur during a video game live stream. Leonard has since issued an apology while Spolstra called his comments distasteful and hurtful. Several people across the sports world have weighed in on this week, including New England Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman, who is Jewish, published an open letter saying in part, quote, I get the sense that you didn't use that word out of hate, more out of ignorance. Most likely, you weren't trying to hurt anyone or even profile Jews in your comment. That's what makes it so destructive. When someone intends to be hateful, it's usually met with great resistance. Casual ignorance is harder to combat and has greater reach, especially when you command great influence. Hate is like a virus. Even accidentally, it can rapidly spread. I'm down in Miami fairly often. Let's do a Shabbat dinner with some friends. I'll show you a fun time. It has also since been announced that Leonard will be away from the heat indefinitely, that according to the organization, while the NBA conducts an investigation. Um, Max, what's your reaction to Meyer Leonard's comments there? First, I want to react to Julian Edelman. I like when he does this okay. very much. He did it with Deshaun Jackson, too. Um, instead of canceling someone, as they say, uh, usually bigotry or that kind of speech, or and bigotry generally, is from fear and hate, but also largely from ignorance. And so what Julian Edelman does is reach out a hand and say, look, let me put you up on some stuff and maybe it'll change the way you think and, and behave. And I like that outreach from Edelman. I applaud it, both in the Deshaun Jackson case and here with Myers Leonard. Let me say, I'm Jewish. But not only am I Jewish, I speak Yiddish. I Yiddish. I just spoke Yiddish on ESPN, right? I had, I had uh, relatives who were killed in the Holocaust. My youngest daughter, Mira, is named for my great-grandmother who was shot in the Yezbateria ditch along with 3,000 other Jews by the Nazis. This is a personal issue to me. I am not offended, personally. I think oftentimes when these things happen, you have to ask yourself, who is the offended party? Because I feel that we're in a great rush to be offended by something. And I am a member of the group of which he's speaking, and I'm not offended. However, I have questions. I'm not offended because I don't believe he meant it, um, it, it, it other than just kind of like a kind of general kind of insult toward the person he was shooting at in the game, right? Or playing against in the game. But I do have questions. I have questions. This is different than Deshaun Jackson, who quoted Hitler and then highlighted a specific, an especially anti-Semitic part, right? And even then, I'm not ready to cancel Deshaun Jackson. I have questions. And I didn't like Deshaun Jackson's explanation. I, it led to more questions. Um, and, and I have questions for Myers Leonard. I don't believe he doesn't know what the word means. And I don't know literally what the word means either. I know it's an insult towards Jews. That's all you have to know. It's meant as an insult towards Jews. I also don't find an equivalency here with this and the N-word, let's say, because it, it, we're not in Germany, we're living in the United States. The history of different persecuted ethnic minorities is not exactly the same as African-American history. So there's a lot that goes into this. I'll just say, I'd like to know, Stephen A., where he was coming from. What did he mean by it? I don't believe he doesn't know what it, that he didn't know. It was an insult toward Jews. Is he from a kind of friend group that messes around like that? Was he playing someone who was Jewish and they're going back and forth like that? I'd like to know. The very least we can say is right now, Myers Leonard's paying a stupid tax because it's one thing to do that privately and say, that's the culture of my friend group. It's quite another to do it publicly. That, at the very least, you pay a stupid tax for. And, and more than that, now I have questions I'd like to hear you answer. <clears throat> I appreciate that explanation, and I appreciate you providing the education, not just to the world, about the things that you just said, Max, but to me, because I didn't know all of that, all right? So I really appreciate that. Let me say this. I could have listened to you. This is a rare moment, because I could have actually listened to you for the next 10 minutes, and usually that's very difficult for me to do when it comes to you. But I would have gladly done that in this particular situation because I would have wanted to hear a complete soliloquy, diatribe, or whatever word is appropriate from you because you are Jewish. You are the offended party. And I think that's incredibly, incredibly important here. What I have to say about this, to me, isn't that important. The most important thing is what you had to say because you're the offended party. 
And so to me, you get to determine how offended you are by what Miles Lennon had to say, because you have a level of comprehension about where he was coming from and what exactly he meant. Even though you still say you don't know, you certainly have a better idea of it than me. Adam Silver, who's going to be on Greeny's show, radio show this afternoon, the commissioner of the NBA, who happens to be Jewish, he can speak to that. On far too many occasions, I find, particularly as it pertains to African Americans, when we're offended, you have people apologizing and backtracking and what have you because they're, they're fearful of the reaction as opposed to really comprehending what was said, how offensive it was, and why. You have made a concerted effort to, to, to give Miles Leonard a chance to explain himself. I think a lot of times, one of the problems is, is that we get guys, they make mistakes and they get to hide, issue a statement, disappear, without really explaining and articulating what your position was, where it emanated from, why'd you say what you said, did you really mean it? Let them stand front and center and do that. I'm not an advocate of the cancer culture mentality. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that this guy should never be in the league again because he made this mistake, unless you double down on it. I agree. Beyond apologetic, and then you continue to do nonsense like that, then you got to go. But if he simply made a mistake, then I'm, say, I'm of the mindset, okay, explain yourself. And explain yourself before folks who understand exactly where you may be coming from so they can understand and comprehend whether, or decipher rather, whether you're phony or sincere, whether your contrition is real or fake.